hey guys i'm doing it different this time it's on my camera we'll see if it works out better tell me god what you think it is july 4th happy 4th of july if you celebrate it if you don't that's okay too and i'm eating seafood gumbo that i made it's really good actually i sure got something to put these shelves on hold up it's really hot so i might be eating it slow look what i got i found these actually they i had them the whole time ah uh, hot <laughs> This is my first time making seafood gumbo. It's good though. And it has shrimp, Jonas crab, chicken sausage, which I don't think I will put in it again. I might put like chicken breasts or like pieces of chicken. But not some chicken sausage. These little guys are different. Tasha can't crack these open without help. Mm. With these, they cut little slits in the, um, the crab. So like all that juice from when you cook it gets in that crab shell. Oh, it's so good. And then I made it with brown rice because I call myself being healthy even though it's probably not healthy. Here's a sausage. It's okay. I think I would try something different next time. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. And instead of celery, I actually put broccoli in mine. Because I have broccoli in the house and I'm grown and I can do what I want. They're like, use celery. Mm. I have broccoli. Broccoli is amazing. I don't even like celery. is really good though i'm sad can you tell jamie not here this is my favorite holiday so it's kind of whack to be spending it alone i was here by myself on my birthday too so yeah you know y'all spent that with me Maybe that's what I should do, just eat seafood on every holiday uh, until he comes home. Before he left, we did like, I made Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> and I made him a birthday cake because all that stuff is coming up, you know, while he's gone. Mm. Mm. This is good. So I wanted him to have like Thanksgiving and stuff. Not be just eating boat food. Mm -hmm. 
he enjoyed that. I've never seen him eat a whole cake. <laughs> it was a small cheesecake, but it was still a lot. <laughs> he ate it all. Too. Ooh, it's hot, y'all. Look at all that. I don't know if y'all can see that stain, but I ain't playing. Yeah, it tastes good. Jojo's gone. Because I am going. I'm going out of town tomorrow. If you want to see. So I'm going out of town for my friend's wedding. I am in, um, her matron of honor. If you want to see that vlog. Vlog. Because it's going to be a video blog. Subscribe to my other channel. Tosh Point Fro. I'll link it down below. Like, if you want to kind of get to know me better, beyond just me eating and kind of talking about this kind of stuff, that's the channel that's about to have all that stuff on it. It started off as a hair channel, but it's not going to stay that way. Mm. So, subscribe. <clears throat> Y'all tell I don't know what I'm doing. expect that to happen these are some tricky little guys but yeah so I'm going out of town for her wedding so that's gonna be fun I'm, I'm going to Dallas I moved here from Dallas now I know my way around that city. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. But I couldn't leave my little man here by himself. So I'm gonna be gone for a while. <laughs> All I do is make a mess. This table was white and now it's brown and white. I think I'm gonna do like a barbecue so my mom my parents live in Dallas and I'm staying with them so my mom is talking about how she's gonna grill for because it's gonna be me and my nephew staying with my parents for a little like I'm gonna stay for like a week but he's staying I think maybe for the summer so she was like, well, we, we get all busy. So we just going to grill a whole bunch of food for y'all to have in the house while we go. You're going to grill? And when they grill, they don't do that like barbecue. You know, like some people say when they're going to grill, they put on hot dogs, hamburgers, maybe some links. That ain't no barbecue. That's not how I was raised on a barbecue, at least. When you say you're going to barbecue, when we say we're going to barbecue, ribs, fish, shrimp, kebabs, any chicken, sometimes steak, corn, vegetables. Yeah. Say that big one. Say that big one for last. I have to watch my time because my camera might overheat. I'm still kind of getting used to using a real camera. <clears throat> Do what I want.
want you to do. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, man. Oh. I made a mess. If y'all have any tips on how to crack these bad boys open, comment them down below. So I'm sure this won't be the last time I make seafood gumbo. It's delicious. See all that? The juice gets all up in there. And it flavors your crab. But damn, they got some thick shells. Ah! <laughs> So, I'm gonna make a seafood mukbang. I mean, not seafood. Jesus. Sorry, y'all. I'm over here like a cat. Just, mm. um, I'm gonna make a barbecue mukbang while I'm in Dallas. Then I'll hopefully op upload that bad boy while I'm there. Excuse me. <laughs> I got a method. Oh, I already got all the meat out. That was a waste. Oh, empty shell. And so at the wedding, my friend. So when I got married to Jamie, like a really small service like we got married in a garden really quick real small and the only thing that I didn't do that I would have done is I would have had my first daddy daughter dance and I didn't do that you know like the first dance of your wedding so my friend was like I want you to have that at your wedding I mean at my wedding I'm gonna have my daddy daughter dance and you have yours too so that will be on the vlog. Me and my dad are pretty excited. We're gonna be dancing to Luther. <laughs> we're, we're cliche. But that song made me want to cry when I listened to it. So, I thought I was the one. This is like messier than I've gotten in a long time. I would never want to tangle with one of these bad boys in real life. Look at all that. <laughs> Jesus. Y'all see how real this is getting? You gotta be careful because you'll eat a shell over here working on unorganized like I am. I can't even get it. <laughs> this is why I need my husband. How, Sway? How? This better be good TV for y'all. <laughs> Jesus.
I was scared. Lord, I was scared of that shit, that thing opening. Whew. I got shells all on me. Joe ain't here to clean it up. This is the messiest move bottle I've ever done. I'm just gonna have to dig in there because that thing is not coming out. This little joint, he ain't coming out. So for everybody that thought that I was just this crab cracking, crab cracking pro, clearly it's only snow crab. <laughs> it's not the rest. There's so much meat in here and it won't let me. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm like, it won't let me get it out. See? I think it's deep. Oh, I got you now. Okay, don't do all that because then you're gonna be fighting with a little piece of the show. Yeah, I wasn't worth it. I got a little piece of the show. Finito! I am done! Sorry for everybody that wants me to be quiet. Maybe one day I will, but it ain't today. This is the messiest mukbang I've ever done. But it was still delicious. And I will be making seafood gumbo again. Might change the recipe a little bit. If you guys have any tips on how I can open those crowds easier next time, let me know. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from me. Or if you like this video, I guess that's kind of, they go hand in hand. And then subscribe for more videos. I love seeing you guys. And we just hit a thousand. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just move and do things. But yeah, we just hit a thousand. That was like epic for me. I emailed Jamie and told him and he was so happy. So thanks guys. I love you and I'll see you later. <clears throat>